Welcome back to Bobcat Recaps. Today we will explain this part of the Scorpion King movie. In this part, we are shown a mountainous snowy area. Where the mountains are seen from different angles, there was a lot of snow on these mountains. We then see a young commander guarding an area. A dagger flies over his head and he falls down. After that we see a cave where there is a celebration. It was none other than some warriors who were celebrating their victory. They were jokingly fighting each other and joking with each other. Their commander comes forward and says that you have a very happy celebration today. We have seen this day after many years. So enjoy as much as you can today. Drinking water in his skull, he said how we drove the Babylonians to their homes. We have also killed the Mexico army. You guys saw that we killed the battalion as well. Also, you guys should not forget the Assyrians how outnumbered we were. Then he said, I would have sent this prisoner to hell right now. But his death should not be so easy. Why, my friends? To which everyone said, yes, you are right. He brought the flaming sword before him and said, first of all, I will destroy your two eyes. After that, I will chew out your heart. After that, I will send your head to your tribe. On this, the prisoner said, it is not as easy as you think. If you be so brave, untie the ropes and then face me. Then I tell you, I will leave now. My brother will come to save me and will bring you and all your soldiers to hell in front of you. After that, as soon as he started losing his eyes, a stone from above came down to him, and at the same time, a lot of arrows started raining on him, killing many of his soldiers. More arrows shot and killed his soldiers. Matthias aimed arrows at their commander, but he saved himself. After that, Matthias took out his sword and said, if you want to save your life, run away from here, on which all the women and prisoners started running away. Matthias' brother was very happy to see him, but they started attacking with daggers. They threw two daggers at him, but they did not hit him. One of the commanders ran towards Matthias and tried to kill him. He tied him up and beat him. After that one of the commanders grabbed him from behind and tried to kill him. And their leader came forward and tried to attack Matthias. But he quickly deflected their blows, was trying to kill his brother in any way. At the same time, a commander came running towards him and tried to attack him with a sword. Matthias snatched the sword from him. Another soldier threw a dagger at his brother. Matthias picked up the soldier and threw him in front of the dagger which saved saved his brother's life. Now Matthias and the commander of the tribe were face to face and started to fight. The commander of the tribe raised his weapons and started moving towards Matthews. Matthias said, stay here. I am coming towards you. After that, he killed all of them and rescued his brother safely from there. 